One of the most powerful storms on record has brought widespread flooding and landslides to southern Malawi and is now known to have claimed the lives of at least 190 people. Rescue and relief efforts are being hampered by the continuing rain in the wake of tropical storm Freddy. And now, according to the Red Cross, more than 20,000 people have been made homeless there or displaced in other ways. Uh, in an unusual weather pattern, it is the second time in a month that storm Freddy has struck this part of southern Africa, uh, previously hit, hitting uh, Mozambique uh, and Madagascar before reaching Malawi. Our Africa correspondent Andrew Harding has more details. This is southern Malawi. Whole neighbourhoods have been swept down hillsides, washed away by the storm that won't stop. There are plenty of houses, plenty of houses, but they are all gone. Here in Blantyre, Malawi, grieving relatives queue outside hospitals waiting to identify the dead. Rescue workers, already grappling with a cholera outbreak, are entirely overwhelmed. Cyclone Freddy first hit mainland Africa last month, but instead of petering out as expected, it swerved back out to sea, picked up more strength, then headed back to shore, tearing through one of the poorest corners of the continent. In the hospital where I am speaking from at the moment, they've had around uh, 119 deaths, at least half of those of children. Um, uh, and uh, the residents in where the mudslide was said that there were an awful lot more people buried in the mud. So I think that, that, that this is going to get worse. Right now, this region needs urgent help. Tens of thousands of people are homeless, and the full extent of the destruction caused by the relentless Cyclone Freddy is not yet clear. Andrew Harding, BBC News, South Africa.